Hi, and welcome back to Revised MTG. I have a Planeswalker deck. Uh, the out is the shell is gone because I was not recording. So, <clears throat> basically, what I was saying when I was doing that was we obviously did not have those back in the ABU to fourth time. Uh, because around that time you were the planeswalker. Uh, that's what you, they called you. Uh, I'm, I don't know if that's still the thing where you have playable planeswalkers and you're their planeswalker as well. Uh, I don't know. I really I have no idea. So <clears throat> I picked this up as well. I picked up a couple things that I'm going to do some videos on. Uh, <clears throat> Blue black was my favorite way back in the time. Being able to just flood the field uh, with black, like breeding pit or something. And, jeez, I'm trying to remember the decks I had at the time. Ah, I'm sorry. But, uh, jeez, yeah, I can't remember. But I remember blue black was fun because you could. Am I hitting the microphone? I don't know. Hold on one second. I'm I'm I'm, I'm completely unprofessional. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, blue black. You could get a lot of creatures out. Uh, I remember using breeding pit. Uh, breeding pit was fun. And then you had blue to control, just control everything, and that was fun at the time. Uh, this is a which. Yeah, I don't know. No, they definitely didn't have foils back then. Foil is definitely, I think that's definitely a uh, 21st uh, century thing. But I like i like foils. Foils are really cool. Uh, unfortunately, this card has a bend to it, which kind of sucks. But I'm assuming since it's a, a pre-made deck that, I mean, this, there's probably so many of these, they're not worth anything. But it's cool, uh, especially with me coming back. And really the only thing I have is that cube and maybe some Hulk cards. Uh, I, I don't have mine, my old stuff anymore. Uh, maybe I'll tell you a story. That's what I probably should do is tell you stories about past stuff. But uh, I really like this foiling. This foiling is great. I love foiling. It's great. Um, I'm assuming... What that says down there means something since it's not really like a set number like of that this is kind of considered a <clears throat> I think Yu-Gi-Oh did it I went to Yu-Gi-Oh for a little while where you'd have your main set cards and then you'd have promo cards the promo cards usually weren't as expensive or as sought after as the main set at least not that I remember because like one of the big ones in Yu-Gi-Oh! was Stardust Dragon, but I think people wanted the set one more. I don't know. I can't remember. I went to Yu-Gi-Oh! for a little while. I like the anime, so sue me. But I like the foil on that. That's great. And the... Oh! It actually comes with like kind of like a, a deck box. Oh, I like that. That's cool. I don't have any deck boxes anymore, so... Do they still, I haven't looked, do they still have the, uh, the big boxes, card holder boxes, and like, it would be like red and it would have pictures of cards from red set. That's what we had way back then. That was kind of the thing is to get those ones. Um, cause they had the generic ones and it was like, you know, who cares? You're generic. Uh, measuring. I will post that. Uh, I do not plan on ever playing magic arena. Uh, right now I'm just planning on collecting magic. I'm not planning on playing it or being a financier. <clears throat> I know there's, there, there seems to be three kind of core people. There's, you know, <clears throat> the players, obviously, that collect, play the game. You know, great. That's basically how, what magic is supposed to be. Um, then there's the financiers. You know, I watch Alpha Investments. That's, you know, Rudy's great. Uh, he's definitely one of the reasons I actually wanted to get back into doing this. Really loved watching his box openings. And 
uh, there's the fi- them, the financiers. They, they make money. They invest into this. this. They do it to make money. And then there's me, which is basically the polar opposite of a financier. I don't plan on making any money off this. I plan on collecting, uh, just collecting things. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe if I get something good and it's worth selling and I don't want to, I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. <clears throat> I know the hardest one is going to be our Corey. Um, I'm going to say this for the end. The deck itself. Gravebreaker Lamia. That looks cool. And uh, yeah, you will, whoever watches this first and gets the code, gets the code. Because I'm not using it. Um, but I want to open the boosters first. And uh, I got some other couple things. I think they might have codes in it too. I don't know. But yeah, I am not using the codes, so I will show them. They'll it'll be the last thing I show basically. And if you can skip to the end and see it, and hopefully be the first person. Or I might do it in the, I might change up the times when I show it. Just to just to irritate people. That'd be kind of funny. At least I think it'd be funny. Record yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. Uh is that just a token? They put ads on their tokens. That's funny. I didn't notice that when I opened the uh, the box. A reflection is a 3-2. Wow, that's one freaking reflection. All right. Okay. I'm assuming uh, rares in the back. I mean, I have a lot of Theros boosters to open now, so uh, I'll figure it out, I guess. God, that looks great. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's why I love black. Oh my god. Demented. Demented. Um I'll just throw these over here. Over here. Uh throw a token in the trash. I, I don't I'm not gonna collect tokens. Really? I, I don't I'm not that desperate of a collector. Anyway, Aspect of Lamprey. Leonin of the Lost Pride. That's cool. Eidolon. Oh, I love that name, Eidolon. Eidolon of Philosophy. You play Warframe. You know, Eidolons. Eidolon hunting. Uh, Mogus's? Mogus? Mogus? I'm hoping I was that. Oh, Mogus's favor. Oh, fi- oh, wow. Just skewered him. Final Death. <laughs> That's great. I love black. Captivating Unicorn. Stern Dismissal. Return target. Yeah, black blue. I think if I did come back to play, it'd have to be black blue again. Black blue is just great. You just, it's just control. It's control. Especially when you leave your islands untapped and scare the crap out of the person. You didn't do anything. All your islands are untapped. What? Oh, crap. Important of betrayal. Sorcery. They don't have, uh, no, instant sorcery. Oh, what was the other one? The comments are already raging. If there is any comments. Instant sorcery. Uh, I can't remember what the other one was. That doesn't exist anymore from what I understand. Omen of the Hunt. Threnody Singer. Favored of... Oh, jeez. Eroas? I don't. I don't know. Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, favored of whatever, gains double strike until end of turn. Okay. Constellate. That's what's a constant. That's weird. Acolyte of Affliction. Ooh. Right on. First uncommon. Oh, the Kraken. Whenever you draw a card, you may pay one. If you do, put a 1-1 counter on Kraken and create a 1-1 blue tentacle. Oh, wow. So you get a 1-1 counter and a tentacle. Well, that's cool. That's our rare and... Oh, When you haven't seen foils before and something like this shows up, I think for most people it's like, yeah, who gives a shit? It's a freaking foil basic land. Who cares? Uh, I need to stop cussing. I'm going to have all these sensor beats. I'm trying not, not to do the cussing. I'm trying. I, I want to kind of make this as family friendly as possible. So I'll hopefully get better. 
but oh my god when you when you first see this this looks amazing to me this looks great i wish we had basic lands back in freaking beta <clears throat> and a forest i mean these actually look really cool i like these lands i like the look of those the, the, the full arts those are great oh geez this guy's excited by a foil full art land what a freaking normie news oh my god Jeez. thinks it's a black lotus or something power nine power nine freaking foil man oh. hey, everybody collects that now i remember it was so hard to get back in the day to get anything <clears throat> even even lotus at like 50 bucks i mean now obviously you know the cost but uh back then wow they were hard to get and even the ones because i mean there wasn't any grading back then that i remember uh there was no psa there was no beckett there's none of that um so you just went off what people said the card was yes it's completely mint and it's like got a giant freaking tear down the center oh it's mint okay uh, and there's more ads uh, for a goop but yeah, that's how it was kind of wild westy back then. It was very wild westy. You know, you just got to take people's words for it and hope that, uh, you know, what they said. Because they, we did have the protectors with the solid colored backs. And that's where what we, people would hide. Because uh, I, I don't care about this goat. Because when you're playing, you know, you move that, move, but, move, but, move, but, you know. And yeah, like I can already see. I don't know if I'll be able to, yeah, see, you're already getting some wear and scratching. So they'd get the solid backs, not because, uh, like to hide it, to hide def the defects while they're playing, but to hide it when they're selling. Uh, we had that a lot back then. I remember someone, cause I had, uh, in beta, I, I didn't have very many alpha cards, but in beta, I had a Lotus. I had some of the moxes and i can't remember i have a book an old magic book uh that is so cool i still have it somewhere and you know it went through the different releases up to a point i can't remember what was the latest but <clears throat> i think i marked off all the cards i had i had a couple of the moxes uh, a lotus at the time um and you know, people would do that. They'd, they'd scratch the holy heck out of the back just by playing it. And then they would buy the the protectors with the, the solid back to hide it. Then say, oh, it's mint. It's mint. It's mint. I swear to God, it's mint. Yeah, okay. Anywho, sorry. Pious Wayfarer. Unknown. Sh I love, I love non-basic lands. Add, oh, what is that? What is a diamond? What is that? There. I can get focus. I don't know if it's focused or not. I don't know why it's not focusing. Anywho, uh, I don't know. It's di I'm sure. Do you? Uh, if anyone's watching this, they probably know what that means. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. If someone could tell me, that'd be great. I, I don't actually have a clue what that means. Grim physician. Yes, and I and and I said it. I said it in my first video. I don't know if I said it in this one, but I like the art. I don't care if it's common, uncommon, or rare. Obviously, with commons, after a while, I will be getting. I, I'll see. I've seen them. But for right now, I like to look at them. I think they're great. I think all the art is great. You know, a lot of the complaints about magic, they just, people don't take the time to just kind of sit back and enjoy some of the things that's worthwhile. And that definitely is the art. Stampede Rider. Nexus Wardens. Omen of the Sea. That's crazy looking. Infuriate. Elysian. Karyatid, Karyatid, Elysian Karyatid, whatever. 
First uncommon, Skophos Maze Warden. All right. Whirlwind Denial. That's cool. Ferris Band Brawler. And what is that? Elspeth Conquers Death. And I, I like these lands. What is this? Enchantment Saga? What? Yeah, the back thing. Okay. As this saga enters and after you... Dr oh. As the sagas enter... This sentence is killing me. As this saga enters and after your draw step, add a lore counter sacrifice after three. I don't, I don't, I don't get that. What the heck? Okay. Well, that's probably completely boring to everyone. They, oh, no, that's crap. He didn't get nothing. But I've never seen that. I don't know what that is. I don't... Lower counter. Sacrifice after three. Oh, so every time after your draw step, you get a count. So you put it down. Then your next draw step, you get one. And then you can exile. Oh, I'm hoping that's how it is. Huh. Okay. All right. I'm not going to sit there and stare at that too long. People are already bored. Guaranteed anyone's watching anymore. Even if they started. That's okay. I enjoy it. And my first couple are going to suck. Oh, that's right. Everyone skipped to the end to get the arena code. That's probably what happened. Let's get to the end. Get the arena code. Oh, someone did already use it. Close the video. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that. I probably shouldn't have said I was going to do it at the end. I just ruined this whole video. Oh, well. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. Hopefully someone is, too. Okay. So I'm guessing this is like the... Haha, uh, -ha, you gotta wait. Unless you skipped ahead. Whoa. Combat damage. Oh, is this like... Rules? They did not give you a roll. I didn't even notice that. Did they not give you a roll book anymore? Huh. I mean, they're giving this fold out thing. What the heck is this? Probably nothing useful. Skate flash wing. But no roll book. Really? What kind of crap? Oh, they can't even afford Robux in them now? Is that how cheap Mad uh, Wizards is? They give you these crap? They can't give you an actual rule book anymore? That's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, I figured this is like the starter decks of the old days. Because I uh, didn't see any, so I'm guessing they don't have starter decks anymore. But that's what I'm guessing. Uh, sorry, I'm just... Okay. Yeah, I guess I just have to go through the rears first. Because they're right on top. <clears throat> I'm guessing these are kind of the replacements for the starter decks. Because uh, they also have the commander. I don't, I don't think this was a commander. No, planeswalker. What does that mean? What is commander? I don't know what commander is. What's a, Where's my starter decks and my boosters? Oh, those cardboard boosters. Are, that's weird. That's really weird. Anyway. Grave Breaker Lamia. Ash... Ashix, Ashix, Forerunner. I can't even try to pronounce that. Oh, two Ashix Forerunner. Uh, elite Instructor Common. Oh, I know. Uh, I think it's the Titans that matter in this. If you want money, uh, Timurit Chosen from Death. That's cool. That's a little constellation. I've seen. I've seen these before. Uh. Open before, obviously, like I said, I watch Alpha Investments and stuff. It's just really cool. I don't pay much attention, I guess. That and they don't really go through the commons all that much. They're going to give you full play set of four. Or maybe because this is specifically constructed, I'm guessing. 
Oh, I love blue black. That's right. This is blue black. That's cool. That's crazy. Ferrica spawn. Underworld. Oh, that's great. Oh, that reminds me of the old nightmare. What a great card. Devourer of Memory. I can't even really tell them what's going on in that card. Swimmer in Nightmares. A couple of those. Mind Rack Harpy. All right, now we're into lands. I don't like these. Give me those full art ones. Those are great, especially them foils. I think those look great. Hard to impressed by full iron light guns. Ho ho, he's so hot though. Okay. Oh. Okay, unknown shores. Lots of freedom. That's cool. Cerberus. Kerberus. Kerber. Kerberus. However else you want to say it. Kerberus. I can't remember. Yeah, that final, I like that card. Oh, funeral. Nice. A little burial mask. Myers grass. Cool. I'm guessing nothing good out of that, really. Uh, probably nothing even out of the booster packs. I, I was expecting the deck not to give me anything, really. Uh, I've played enough, uh, like I said, from Yu-Gi-Oh! with pre-structured or pre-builts to expect that he ain't gonna be much really anything in there. Although I do like that card. That is a great looking card. That's the main reason I got this. I just think it looks great. I wish it wasn't bent. <clears throat> but there we go. Uh and yeah, thanks. I hope I hope you enjoyed. Um and you know, come back. Uh and here it comes. It's the Arena code. Oops, upside down. Trying to get it. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully you got it. Hopefully the first person's done it. It's done it. <clears throat> if not, I think I have more Arena codes. And I'm going to do them probably. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully people will watch and not just get to the end. But we'll see. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And, you know, I'm hoping to have some more stories, come up with uh, uh, some of my stories from my past. And I can't believe that that is so stupid. That's, that's your rule books now. Okay. All right. Bye.